Hello and welcome to OOPK Adventures. I am OOPK. Here we are back again with another video. Today we got some Castle Wars. We got some Laren's Keys. We got some. We got some PK tips as well to help you PK in the wilderness. What else do we have? We also have a fight with a, a YouTuber. We got a fight with a YouTuber, Mr. Smitey, and that's at the end of the video. So we got a whole video packed out today, ready for you. So let's get into it. Let's enjoy it. Have a good time. Like and subscribe if you like it. And let's get into it. Here we are at Castle Wars. Why am I at Castle Wars? I'm at Castle Wars because I need to get myself a. I needed to get myself a Halo. I've already got the Halo, but I need to get myself the the pure the pure body. The pure body is the best in slot for for pures. Like it gives you, I think, twenty defense, twenty to thirty defensive bonus. I sat in, and I'm here for it. Um, also, I'm here at Castle Wars because it's a good way to train. You know, it's, it's a good way to train as a pure. It's a good way to like get your PvP skills up. Look, look here. You can see me having a fight with this guy. It's all fun. It's all good, clean. It's all good, clean, risk-free fun. You know. Everyone's enjoying themselves, learning about you know, learning some PK and stuff like that. And also, if if I don't wanna if I don't wanna play, I can just leech. Like, I can just go stand upstairs and get the points. Uh, a lot of people do that, so that's an option for you as well. But if you're doing it, you may as well go outside. You may as well go out there. You may as well go out there. Maybe find someone your level. Have a few have a few fights. Have fun with it. Maybe go mess with the other team, have some bants, why not? You know, you're, you're going to be here for a day anyway while you're training. You're going to be here for a day anyway while you're getting the tickets and stuff. So, you know, you might as well enjoy yourself and just have have a fun time with it. It's, you know, it's Castle Wars, it's classic, it's nostalgia, you know. Just have fun with it, enjoy. Yeah, and this, this is just a really good way of, like, just having getting some combat experience, you know, getting good with getting good with casting your spells, because you know in PvP you can't auto cast spells, so it helps you it helps you learn how to click your spells pro correctly and stuff. There's no risk; it's just a good way. Look, and I'm having fun here. Look, this guy is a, he's a lower level than me, but he's quite good. I'll, I'll give him a lot of cre I'll give this guy a lot of credit here. His switches are good. His his magic is good. You know, you can get you can easily get me for his level. He's nine. Le he's nine levels lower than me. He's nine levels lower than me right now, and he's still holding his ground really well. So he's quite a good player. But yeah, this is just the fun of it. Look, we're we're, we're both practicing. We're having fun. It's all friendly. It's nice. It's, it's just this is a good way you know what i did you know what it's may may have been a day long grind to get the to get the um the pure top but i had a i didn't have a bad time i had fun with it you know it's, when you do these grinds you just gotta find something you enjoy and you know enjoy it see like it's great but yeah castle wars was castle wars it was just fun man i just liked it I might go back. I might, even though I've got everything I need, I've got most things I need. I may go back, uh, just for fun. Just for fun. I never, you know, I might, you know, just, just enjoy myself. See, look, there's pures here. My level. They want to have a little scrap, and I'm, and I'm fully up for that. I'm, f I'm fully up for it. It's, in, it's, in, you know, it's enjoyable. Um, what, yeah, it's just, it wasn't bad at all, it was not bad at all, uh, see, everyone's just having fun, this guy's trying to kill me here with his mage, it's all good, it's all good. Hope you got me. Well, yeah, it was all in all. All in all, if you're pure, if you're pure, or if you're anyone, I'll just recommend having some fun at Castle Wars. Like, just go for it. I don't, I don't see why not. I, I don't, I don't see why not. 
So you now look here I am having this fight with this guy What I'm doing is I'm setting my prayer So I'm going to bolt him So I'm setting my offensive prayer to to the to the range prayer to hit him with the to hit him with the bolts and what i do what i like to do is i like to change my prayer beforehand so change my offensive prayer so if i'm going to hit them with magic i hit them with the magic prayer if i'm going to go in for a, a strength hit like i am now i change it to strength so i try to do that every time i do it and i seem to hit and you know you hit harder if you get these prayers correct you hit a lot harder and that's a good thing to that's a good tip to get into if you're P, you know if you're pvping like switch your offensive prayers before you go in for the attack and you'll hit harder you'll hit harder that's just one tip I'm, that's one tip i'm giving you i've got a lot of other tips coming through later so stay tuned in the video but here for now just enjoy watching me enjoy watching me having Having fun, just training, training with these people, you know. See, it's good practice, very good practice, and you get something out of it in the end. Hmm, but I do feel for people who are doing collection logs and stuff, and they, you know, they have to get like eight hundred points. I only have to get like one hundred and thirty points, and I thought that was kind of long. So like collection log people, wow, they're gonna be here for ages. But you know what? That's part of the game. That's fun for the, that's fun. So why not, man? Why not? It's part of the grind. And if you know, if you like the grind that much, go for it. Mm, yeah, but this is this is good. This is good. Here I'm. I've frozen him. I've frozen him now. I'm gonna change my prayer to strength, and I'm gonna go in for the rush see it's always good to change your prayer that's what i'm saying i see that you can see the benefit from it now and see there's a lot of pures out here i'm get you know there's a lot of different ones so it's kind of fun oh you nearly got me Oh, he nearly got me. Yeah, he got me. Fair enough, fair enough. But yeah, that's Castle Wars for you, really. That's that's it, really. That's I just wanted to show you a bit of what I've been doing on Castle Wars, you know. That's some of it. And yeah, that's it for Castle Wars now. Now, let's see. Let's, yeah, that is it, really. It just takes about a day. It takes about a day and a bit to get all your stuff. Um, and that's about it, really. What else can I say? There's a lot of fun things in Castle Wars, like cool tr tricks and tips. Like, you can smash the enemy's door in. You can, like, do a lot of other... Anyway, look here. Yeah, this is what I've gained from doing Castle Wars. This is what I got from, this is what I got from doing Castle Wars, yeah? So, you can see the halo on my head. You, I may have already shown you that in in another episode, but this this top this this range top is is the best in slot. It's the best in slot, so it gives the best defensive bonuses of any top that a pure can wear. So it's definitely worth getting. It's usable below twenty wilderness, and it's usable outside of the wilderness. But it's only you know what I mean you have to stay below twenty or you'll lose it. Uh, it's got so it's a good it's good armor to have. Very good armor to have. And you're going to be seeing it in use later in the video. So that's a treat for you. And look, there's some good defense. Look, that's eight. It's got high. Look at my people. Look at his defensive stats. They're quite high. They're quite high defensive stats. So it's nice to have this stuff. Yeah. Uh, you'll see it in action. So don't worry. Don't worry about that. Okay. Anyway, we're going to get on to the next section. Oh, now we're opening 33 Laren's keys. We got, I'm dressed in the ghost, as you can see, I'm dressed in the ghost robes. Just to try and blend in and be all tactical and stuff, you know what I mean? Got some camouflage on and that, so. I don't know why I've got five swordfish on me, like that's going to help if anyone pulls up on me out there. 
But yeah, I'm, I'm gonna go. Let's go pop these keys open. Go into the Lauren's chest. Um, last video I did 25 Lauren's keys. I wanted to do 50 Lauren's keys, but I needed some gold. I need some gold immediately because I uh, know I've been having some ish. You know, I've been having some problems. I've lost some. I've lost some gold. So I need to go open these up and get myself some get myself some gold and some loot off this. So let's see what we can get. Let's see what pops out out of this chest. Uh, another reason I like doing is because like I can just flood the clan trap with loot. I can you know what I mean just have a little flex just like flood the clan trap. Look, just, it's, they're gonna see it all come up in the thing. And let's see what, and you, as you can see, like, these, these are quite, these Lauren's keys are quite good to do, like, you just get, you get really good loot, quite high value, but also, on the other hand, you do get some troll drops, like, tuna and pure essence, and it is what it is. But yeah, as you can see, and also, you know why I like opening loads of keys at once, because it's a little risk, you know. Imagine you know you know you gotta take risks sometimes to feel alive. So here we are. We got the thirty three keys. If I got PK'd for these keys, oh my god, I would I would be sad as hell. Cause I did not I did not PK any of these keys. I got them all from from doing Slayer. Like for some reason, I'm just really unlucky about getting keys off getting keys when I PK. I never seem to get any. So that's one thing. Anyway, that's all the loot boxes. That's all the all the chests looted. We're gonna go back and we're gonna total up the loot and see what we got. <laughs> As you can see, look the clan trap, clan trap going wild. They wanna, they wanna see more. They're asking how the hell. But yeah, that's the fun about it, really. Just get open loads of loot. But I wouldn't recommend doing this yourself. I would recommend like opening some of them at once or opening some of them. You know, what I mean, only bringing out some of them so you don't get PK'd. Where we're gonna get in there, price check this loot and see what we got. Yeah, it's a lot of loot. So, yeah, 33 keys. Alright, so what we're gonna do, yeah, let's give it a price check, see how, see what it comes out to. Add in the bars, the ores, da da da. It's nice to see all the rewards of reward in a slayer. This, this is why it's good to do it, you know, build up, build up this stacks of loot. And as you can see from those 33 keys, we've got six point, almost 6.2 mil, which is quite good, which is which is fair enough, you know. It's it's put it, it, it's saved me. It's got me the money. It's got me the gold I need to keep going. So yeah, so so that's that's really helpful. Really helpful. Really happy about that. Mm, not gonna complain at all. Very, very good, very good, very good loot for the day. And we're going to move on to the next section. Here we are, we're at the Black Chin Chompers. Now I'm going to show you a little trick here. Basically, if you look at the left of the screen, if you look at the far left, look where I'm standing and look at the left of the screen. Now, little do you know... I can creep on. I can creep on on the pe on the person skilling and catching the chin trompers. I can see his box traps in the corner. He doesn't know I can see him. And what I'm going to do is I'm using the camera to see him slightly, and I'm going to creep up on him. I'm going to run in there and I'm going to TB him. And that's the trick. I'm tr that's the trick I'm trying to show you. In this. I'm also trying to give you this little tip here. I'm trying to show you this trick that you, you can use your camera to see pe what people are doing before they can see you and you're going to see more of that in the video i'm going to show you a few examples of it and hopefully it can help you see i'm trying to tb these guys but they're out of my level range and the first guy the first guy was on to me like a spooked horse and just escaped so that's one so you know it happens
But this is a good spot to PK. There's always people here. There's there's people of all different levels. So as you saw, there was a max main there. He's probably got like 200 brews on him. So good luck to whoever's trying to PK him. But give it a go. If you're a high level, give it a go. You could probably get him. Now here we are. I'm going to show you the trick again. Look. I can see the box trap set up over there. That means there's someone there waiting. There's someone there waiting to get PK'd. So what we're going to do here is we're going to throw on our protect item. Throw on our mag mystic might. And have our thing ready. And we're going to zoom out our map. And we're going to click into the distance. We're going to click into the distance. And we're going to go after him. And we're going to teleblock him now. We've got the teleblock off. Boom. He's teleblocked. Boom. We're going to go for the entangled now. Go boom, he's entangled. Now what we're gonna do now what we're gonna wanna do is we're gonna go right up close to him because these lot these are slimy. These guys are slimy, they're gonna try escape, they're go, they're gonna try wriggle out of your entangled suit and and they're quick as well. So what you're gonna wanna do is stay very close to them. If if not stay a bit south to them. So see see how stay close to him, I'm ready with that entangled. Boom, he's been entangled. Now I know what he's up to. Now I'm gonna stay I'm gonna stay to the side of him. And I'm, uh, if not, I'll stay a bit south of him. And I'm just going to hit him. And I'm going to keep in mind that I have to be ready to entangle him again. Because he's going to start running again. See, boom, he started running. Boom, he's entangled again. What? Could, that's it. It's done now. And a few more bolts and he should be done. But see, that's what I mean. You've got to stay south of them. If you're PKing your chin, chin people... They're going to try to run south, so so go south of them and freeze them and stop them. That's, that's all you have to do. Now also, as I'm running back, I see something else. I see a guy farming green dragons. Now, I used to be this guy farming green dragons back in the day. And it's okay, you know. This is the world, but this is the wilderness though. And I'm, I can see him there. Like a lion and an injured gazelle. I can see him there and I'm going, to, I'm going to take him out. Rawr! See, I've got him there. Boom, I've got him. Now what am I going to do? I'm just going to hit him with my mage hits now. I'm just going to hit him with mage hits. Because, like, he's got that granite armor on. That granite armor is not taking these mage hits well, as you can see. I'm just going to keep on maging him. He's Look at poor things just trying to eat. Eat to stay alive, but it's not happening. No matter how many lobsters you eat, it's not gonna help. But I used to be this guy. I used to be this guy, and it's okay. Like you, this is just part of being in the wilderness. He chose to be out here. This is this is just part of the food chain. It's, you know, this happened to me before. I used to start PKing. This is just part of. It's natural. It's natural. Don't worry. And sorry, mate. Good good fight. Good fight. And we're gonna go check we're gonna go check the loot. Probably it's not gonna be anything shocking, don't don't worry, but it, you know it's fun to get the loot anyway, like it's good practice. It, it's good practice PK and you know. Getting in front of people getting in front of people blocking them off, getting the tele blocks in. It's all good for you. So if you if you wanna go out and PK some chin chin people or, you know, you want to PK some PVMers, go for it. Uh, let's see what loot we got here. We got like uh, 80k loot from those two kills. But that didn't take that long. Or And it didn't take many resources. So, all in all, all in all, it was, all in all, it's all good. It's all good. Um, In the next thing, I'm going to be showing you another, another example of the trick. Oh, here we are. We're in the, we're in the, we're in the Slayer Cave now. Now I'm gonna show you the truth about PKing here. Now I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna light it up. I'm not gonna show you that it's all like glorious and it's all, it's all fun and games. There's some, there's some. I'm just gonna show you the honest truth about it here. Yeah, the honest truth about it here is it takes ages. Now you're gonna sit with me. You're gonna sit with me. And you're gonna watch me hop. You're gonna watch me hop through these worlds. So you're gonna understand what it's like. You can skip it if you want, but it, but if you want to see the reality of things, this is the reality of things. Like you're gonna have to hop a lot of worlds. 
sometimes to find like someone to kill so when you're watching like when you're watching your favorite pker you know like you might be watching tor vesta or um or, sk- or skill specs or someone or whatever and you're see- and you're seeing these videos you're not seeing all the hopping that's involved there's so much hopping involved in being a p in pk it's not a joke like so much hopping but it's all part of the hunt you know it's like if you're a hunter in the wilderness you want to get your prey so you gotta do what you gotta do and at the end of the day if people were easy to find all the time it wouldn't be that it wouldn't be all that you know it would not be all that um would not be all that would not be all that fun you know it's, it's, it's good it's hard you, you know you gotta find people and stuff it's hard but it is what it is and we're gonna be hopping through the worlds and i'm just showing you i'm just showing you like this is how long it takes like this is the reality of things this is what pks go through so if you're if you're doing wilderness slayer or something and some some weirdo runs up to you rags you out and pks you Bear in mind, it took them. This is what they're going through. So, so think about the PK sometimes when you get PK. Do you know what I mean? Like, look how hard, look how tough this is. I'm just waiting to see anyone. This is this is the truth. This is the truth. This is the real story of PKing. You think, oh, it's all fun and games. Oh, I'm gonna run out there. I'm, oh, I'm gonna get like, I'm just gonna go TB someone and get bare loot. No, 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 no. It's not like that. It don't go like that. Yeah. I have to show you this. Oh look, see I found someone now, I found someone. But here's the heartbreaking thing. He's he's too high level for me. See just when I think I've found someone he's too high level for me and that happens as well. See? I'm still trying to attack him, see? Sad times. But it is what it is. Now we're gonna hop a bit more and we're gonna see what happens. few more hops here and there come on a few more hops now, now for those who stayed with it good on you those who those who are in the video still watching through the hops good on you you warrior because this is what this is what i had to go through to bring you this content so let's go come on stay with me now stay with me now because here's where it gets a bit juicy here's where the juicy part has this is where the juicy part comes in you're gonna see it now I think it's now anyway. Should be. Almost. Stay with stay with the video. Don't don't conk out on me now. Keep watching. Keep watching. Now now here's what's happened. I've seen the white dot. In the top right hand corner, you see the white dot in the top right hand corner. I've noticed that, so I'm gonna hop back down to 493 to see what's going on. Now I'm back at 493. As you can see here, there's a PK hunting a P hunting a PVM. I've come outside the thing, but I've act- I think I've been tele blocked somehow. I don't know how I got tele blocked. Now this guy's for this guy's throwing a bolt at me. This, I'm ready to take him on. I'm thinking, yeah, I'll take this guy on. I think I can get him. Real talk, I think I got the I got the ability to get him. I think I, I got the confidence. So, so now I've loaded I'm loaded up my my melee. I'm going in for the melee now. Boom. Now I've noticed two names underneath me. As soon as I've noticed two names out of me, I'm getting on I'm getting out of there. That I'm getting out of there. That's suspect. Now look, as I was right, I was right, it is suspect. They've frozen me now. They fr- now the smites are going up, the smites are going up, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to drink my my restores, and I'm going to lower my prayer and let them kill me. See, because they're throwing up smites, I don't want to try to stay alive. If you try to stay alive while they're all throwing up smites, you're going to get killed. But that's just the fun of being in the wilderness, you see. That is, that is just part of the adventure. It is what it is. You win some, you lose some, and just get back in there, get out there again. I've only lost 300k, 
if I want that back, I can just go and kill a, a bot. Now here I am. I'm, this is Mr. This is me versus Mr. Smitey, another YouTuber. His name's Mr. Smitey. He's a baby pure. Um, he mainly uses magic. He, he's a good magic user. Um, I'm a. I like to use range and I like to use range and melee mainly. But he he is a prolific magic. He's good at magic. Um, he's I would say specializes in using Sora Domain Strike and Sora Domain Strike. If you don't know, it smites you on 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 when it when it hits, it it, it has a smiting effect. So that's that's what's dangerous about about him. That's what he's a YouTuber as well. You could check out his channel, Mister Smitey. I'll probably link I'll link it in the description if you want to check it out. He's also I've seen a lot of his videos and like. He's a pure as well. He's all exactly on the same bracket as me. He's level 70, just one level higher than me, I think. Um, but yeah, this is a battle of two styles. So he's a major, and I'm more of like a bolt. I I bolt and I bolt and dagger. You know, I like I like range and melee mostly. So yeah, we're gonna have a fight and we're gonna get into it. We're gonna see how it goes. But as you're going to see, he's quite a good player. His switches are on point. Um, his bolting is on point. You're going to see. Uh, I've just forgotten my Ava bag. I like to bring my Ava bag out with me to save bolts and stuff. A lot of PKers don't do that, but I do that. It has a little range bonus to it as well, so I like to bring my Ava bag with me. When I'm out PKing, so I'm ready. I'm gonna go out there, he's gonna skull up, and we're gonna go for it. Okay, so as you can see, he's TB'd me, he's, he's trying to throw, he's trying to throw his. He's trying to throw entangle at me, but he's not getting the entangles off. I'm bolting him. He's managed to get the entangle off now. As you can see, there's a spectator in the back. We've got Navid M in the back watching the fight passionately. Here we are. He's bolting me. He's giving me the bolts. I'm giving him back some bolts. He's he's eating. He's eating. I'm getting him down a lot. Oh, he's throwing a Sara strike at me now. And he's gone in for a DDS. I've gone in for a DDS. We've both gone in for a DDS. He, he's missed. I've missed. Now I'm going in for the bolt. He's going in for the Sara strike. I've hit him. I've hit him with the bolt again. He's DDS me. I've DDS him back. Chancing him. Chanced. Both chanced. No, I should be ma I should be maging him now. But I'm not maging him. I've kind of messed up here, as you can see. I'm following him in. I'm following him. In. Now this part is nice. This part is nice. he's he's maged me, and he's hit me with a bolt. I should have ate, but that's my fault. Good fight. Very good fight. I've lost 300k. Fair enough. I'm happy for the fight. It was a very good fight, and I enjoyed it. If you like this video, this is the end of the video. But if you like this video, like, comment, and subscribe. Love to you all. Thank you for watching. Thank you for what I hope you enjoyed it and